Hey everybody, I'm Shane. And I'm Lex from PDQ.com. We're gonna talk about tools in the context of PDQ inventory. Absolutely, now tools, explain tools to me. Tools are, if you have, as a sysadmin, you have scripts or favorite commands that you find that you run a lot. These are scripts that you've written or that somebody's given you, it doesn't matter. If there's some actions that you perform quite a bit, um, you might wanna consider making those what we call a tool. That's where you can just encapsulate that script or command into uh, something that's built into PDQ inventory. You can run it against your target computers. Just a point and a click, really. Point and a click or a series of keystrokes. Mm -hmm. I love it. So we're gonna go over here to tools in PDQ inventory. Um, and I'm just gonna open up, there's three types of tools. Like, okay. Uh, we're gonna open up one of these. Op this is called open admin share. This is what's known as a local uh, type, a, lo a local tool. There's three types. There's remote, local, and system. This is a local. A local means the executable or script that's going to be executed resides there on this on this machine. On the console and machine. Not the target machine. Absolutely. On okay. the console machine. Um, so you're going to execute this. Mm -hmm. Now you can, like in this case, we're going to relaunch Explorer on our console machine. Mm -hmm. But then Explorer EXE does allow parameters we're gonna say go out to whatever computer we've selected in inventory. That's where that variable comes in. You can choose variables by clicking that little X there. And it'll put them in wherever your cursor is, so make sure your cursor's in the right place mm -hmm. when you click on them. We've got target host name, mm -hmm. which is just, once again, gonna expand the computer name. Uh, and then slash admin dollar, which is the Windows the Windows uh, folder. But it's, now, it's, a, it's an admin share. Another thing to look at here, we've got no shell, ignore the output. There's a couple options on these locals that you can do. Uh, capture the output, no shell, close mm -hmm. the shell on completion or leave the shell open. This one, we don't need the shell because we want it to kick off Explorer and we've also set a shortcut Correct. key on this, which is Control-Alt-O. Yep, so uh, for Control-Alt-Open, I guess. I like that. So uh, that means now we can just go to a computer and because we have that parameter for the target mm -hmm. host name, let's go to Allen Rails and it was Control-Alt-O. Alt yeah. Control-Alt-O. Boom. And notice it opened up Explorer. Alan Rails went to that computer and the admin dollar share. Easy enough, huh? Perfect. That's a great example of a local tool. Now let's go back over to our tools. We've got the flush DNS. Uh, this is fish. an example of a system. Okay, right? now systems, do those, those run local also, don't they? Yes, they run local, but they don't. Uh, the difference between a system and a local is that system you're never gonna choose a parameter, like a target host name okay. or a variable. You just, this is just something you want to run on your machine, save you time. This is a great example. I wanna flush the DNS, the DNS. Wanna, <laughs> the NESH. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wanna flush the DNS cache on my local, on my, on my console, right? The interesting thing about this one, this one we're leaving the shell open. You'll see why, because we wanna see that it actually ran. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I, Put a shortcut key in here. I did a Control Shift Z because Control Shift Z. And uh, but instead of showing the the, the keyboard shortcut, let's come over here. Notice I don't have a computer selected. Yeah. I don't have a computer selected. My tools all of a sudden are limited. Only system level commands are allowed if you don't have a computer selected. So we'll do flush DNS. Opens the window. You flushes can, the DNS, and there you go. Yep. You can actually see there. That's why we left that shell open. Absolutely. Now the next one, the remote type. This is stuff I want to run on Jake's machine, or in case this case, I like testing on Shane's machine. Mm -hmm. It could be the EXE <laughs> or a script. It doesn't matter. That's going to be executed on the on the remote system. So we're going to come over here to go new mm -hmm. tool. You should recognize this window. Looks yeah. like like remote. Rem rem uh, wow, remote command window. It does. Uh, what do you want to call this one? Uh, let's uh, do a GP update force. Okay. So this means you want to call a group policy update on a remote machine. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so the name is uh, force, what do we call this? GP update force, right? Yep. So the command, if you wanna do, if you if you wanna be very specific, it's what, Windows System 32? So you're not counting on the uh, <coughs> path being correct path. on every machine, so you're gonna call it direct, so this is gonna work. This is kind of a best practice. Yeah, here. it is. GP update, exe, and then a front slash force. Now, we do need to make sure we do select this as a remote run type. You notice it changed some things down here also. Thank you for that. Yes, since so remote, now it's saying, okay, since this is remote, what's your timeout? In other words, you're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go out to a target computer and say, run the GP update. 
how long do you want to give it to run before mm -hmm. it just says, oh, this timed out? By default, 180 seconds. It's just usually pretty good. Um, success codes, very important. There could be certain success codes. Like, here's a very common one. Mm -hmm. uh, people use task kill. Oh, the 128. Yeah, so task kill, I want to I want to kill a, a process that is always causing problems. Um, but if that process actually isn't running, you want to have a 128, so comma, you would, in that case, you do like a comma 128 there. And that means if zero or 128 shows up as a return code, it's considered good. It's just an example. So the success codes are delimited by commas. Do you yeah. want to scan after? I don't think in this case we need to because there's really nothing we're looking for in this place, in okay. this case. But the option's there. Do you yeah. want to do a wake on LAN in case the computer's off? No. No, not in this case. But the option's there. So Again, we'll... you can select a shortcut key if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do And that. the nice thing about this is you don't have to type it out. You just hit your combination of keys. So Control-Shift-G. I like it. Control-Shift-G. Now, go. if it was used, you would get a warning that that key combination is already used. In PDQ inventory. Thank you. In PDQ inventory. We don't. Yes. We, we, we don't go. There could be a. There, we could be. <laughs> we could be peeing in the pool of another application out there that uses that. Just so you know. Okay. So Control Shift G. Or actually, they're peeing in our pool. We're the best. That's right. I like that. So let's go uh, select a machine. Okay. Now with GP update, there is a chance, although it's rare, it could reboot the machine. It could reboot the machine, or it could ask. It could pop up a question that mm -hmm. the user itself will not see, it, it, saying, are you sure you want to reboot it? Basically, you've got to make sure that your tools do not ask questions, do not prompt they anybody. They need to run silent in yeah. the background. Yeah. They won't see it. It'll just hang there. That's where your timeout comes in. It'll just kind of hang. Oh, well, there it is. It the policy. It ran the computer policy and the user policy. Uh, it's done. That You can see that. Boom. Slam dunk. So in a nutshell, a couple of things to remember. Kate, okay? is it local? Is it a system or is it going to run remote? Because mm -hmm. it matters, guys, when you set these up. And, uh, you know, like you go say, to, go to town. Anything you can automate, scripts and that. Yep. Add keystrokes to it, man. It, it, that's that's exactly what it is. Use your favorite scripts, nail it down. I'm Shane. And I'm Lex from PDQ.com. <laughs>